Greetings, Yak Watchers. Today, I'm going to transport you back to a time when it was politically and socially acceptable to bomb the buildings of innocent people in the name of saving your own life. The 80s! And jolly good fun it was, too. These days, these politically correct times, we cannot be seen to be promoting things such as this. Indeed, I must question the story here, because it seems that you're a pilot, and you're running out of fuel in your helichopper. So, you must destroy all these blasted buildings, so you can land on the old runway. But, you can't help but feel sorry for the poor people who are living in these buildings. I mean, look, all the lights are on. Can we not have waited for a time when they weren't in to bomb the houses, then at least they would survive. I mean, it's that old philosophical question, isn't it? Do you sacrifice your own life for the sake of 5,000? Well, evidently in this game, the answer is no. <laughs> oh. Yes, taking games far too seriously, that's the name of this channel. <laughs> And it doesn't look like we're going to do this here, because I'm terrible. And you've got to bomb a full screen worth of blasted buildings. The closer you get to the bottom, the quicker you can drop the bombs. Because you can only drop one bomb at a time. You've got to wait for the previous bomb to explode the building or land on the floor before you can fire another one. And quick! I just... Oh. Yes, I'm not exactly an expert at this. Let's just try button mashing and see how far it gets us. From my own knowledge of this type of game in the past, it doesn't usually bear fruit, but we can only try. The colour scheme here is just a little bit bland. Blue on grey, but then I suppose it is night time, so we'll let them off with that. It is cool to see all the lights on in the buildings, though. Going back to that point, actually. Why do all these people have their lights on at the same time? It must be like 9 o'clock at night, and everybody in this town goes to work during the day. So they're all back at the house at the same time in the evening, which must cause havoc for the national grid. They must have to siphon energy from Europe in order to run this city. Another good reason to bomb it. <laughs> yes, if ever there was a good reason to bomb a city, that's it. Yes, these powered Luttons, they are a disgrace to the nation. Whatever nation this is, I hope it's a fake nation because what helicopter pilot would go around bombing people if it wasn't in times of war? I suppose this would have been acceptable if they made it a war-based game. But, once again, these are just poor innocent people trying to live their lives. Yes, yeah, sorry, I can't stop thinking about those unfortunates trapped in these buildings being bombed to death. I know, I'll go on one of those famous Harry Yak pacifist missions where I just don't play the game properly. <laughs> yes, in protest at the monstrous nature of these games. Ah, it was a different time. The mid-80s, when it was fine to bomb buildings of peaceable people. So, another 80s home computing classic butchered on Harry Yak's retro yakage. Tune in next time to see what sacrilegious stuff we're going to be getting up to then. Hey, Dave, I hope you remembered to fill that fuel tank. Nah, it'll be fine.